Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us for another reaction video. A little more comedy on the channel, but we're doing the Three Stooges. Never done Three Stooges before. No. And um, do you uh, have any, like, did you watch them at all when you were growing up or anything? Or Not a lot, but my grandma would play it sometimes. Um, yeah, definitely a little bit older comedy bit. I remember seeing it on TV from time to time. Like you said, maybe my parents had it on or I was just flicking through channels and and, and saw it. And I do remember watching it a few times, but it's like it was few and far between. It wasn't a regularly scheduled program for me. Yeah, no. Uh, but I do remember some bits being pretty funny yeah. and uh, like me laughing at them even as a kid. So i um, interested to see this one because I have no idea what this is. Disorder in the Court. I've never I've never seen this before, but uh, we've we've got introduced a little more older style comedy with Abbott and Costello, which we really yeah. did enjoy. So I thought, you know what, let's do Three Stooges because yeah, um, sure. you know it's a classic and uh, it's got a lot of notoriety. And so figured might as well go back in time a little bit further because we've enjoyed doing that from the musical standpoint as well, right? So yeah. I'm interested to see what the comedy back in the day looked like from the Three Stooges. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it, guys. Tempest. What is your occupation? I'm a dancer. On the night of February the 13th, were you working at the Black Bottom Cafe when this murder was committed? Yes, but I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robin? I don't know. Didn't you kill Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor, and ask that the last question be stricken from the records. It is merely an attempt to influence this intelligent, broad-minded, and most intellectual jury. <laughs> Objection sustained. Thank you, Your Honor. That is all. Quiet, Polly. If it please the court, Your Honor, at this time I would like to introduce my three main witnesses, Howard, Fine, and Howard. <clears throat> <laughs> They were here a minute ago. Will you pardon me, Your Honor? I'll be right back. Hey, what's the idea of spoiling the game? I was for onesies. Well, here's twosies. Oh, oh. Here's uh, five. Oh. Gentlemen, gentlemen, don't you realize Miss Gail Tempest's life is at stake? Oh, Gail! Uh, 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 Try to be a little more quiet in the court. Certainly, Judgey. The gate is locked. Would you please step forward? No, no, no. <laughs> Prepare yourself for the witness box. Take off your hat. Now raise your right hand. Now place your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. 
Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Will you get rid of that hat? Raise your right hand. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Are you trying to give me the double talk? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? He's talking pig Latin. I don't know what he's saying. He's asking you if you swear. No, but I know all the words. He's asking you if you'll swear to tell the truth. Truth is stranger than fiction, Judgy Wudgy. <laughs> Kindly address this court as your honor and take the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Certainly. What have I got to lose? Take the stand. Where will I put it? No, no. Take the stand. I got it. Now what will I do with it? Sit down. It's interesting seeing it uh, in color as well because it was originally in black and white, and this is the first time I'm seeing it in color. Yeah, it's um, you know it's a different dynamic to it because it adds it makes it a little more real, I guess. Because yeah, obviously you're seeing it the way you visualize the, the world every single day. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's definitely a different kind of comedy. Um, again, I think similar to one of the bits that we did. Um, with Abbott and Costello almost entertaining in a way rather than being so much comedic value but I think it is a different type of comedy in that it's like oh just playing dumb you it's know like silly comedy yeah being a little more stupid with it it almost reminds me of like you know how progressively Dumb and Dumber yes. and like some of those movies kind of were? Well, I was going to say to me, like the modern day version of this would be something like Step Brothers. I don't know. I've never seen that movie. Yeah. We're going to have to watch that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I think like there is elements that people have taken from this and used it in a more modern fashion, yeah. which is interesting for sure. And, uh, you know, it, it's still, uh, you know, you forget that there's a lot of. A choreography that needs to go into this right oh, from sure. the bits yeah, and everything rehearsed. so that's what i find really entertaining is that you know the the composition of the comedy sketch itself right or the entertainment sketch is you know it's pretty intricate you know how they go from one to the next and like it seems like it's a lot of it's one take as well yeah. so um you know it's easy to look at it and, and just take it from the comedy's perspective but i think from the entertainment value of the sketch itself it's you know important that you kind of look at all aspects together yeah and this is actually the first one i think that we've done that hasn't been a live bit right like the rest have all been either at a show or like a stand-up performance or on a talk show like this is the first one that was like televised as a recorded yeah situation right I would, I mean, yeah i think that's yeah. probably uh pretty accurate yeah. yeah this is like a short film yeah. right so <laughs> You're in a court, not in Clancy's pool room. Sit down. I'm a victim of circumstance. Uh, who are you hitting? Oh, you're gone. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Proceed with the case. Were you in the Black Bottom Cafe on the night of February the 13th? Certainly. Did you at that time see the defendant, Miss Gail Tempest, in any way, shape, or form, commit or try to commit bodily harm to the deceased... Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. Counsel is trying to lead the witness. Objection sustained. Mr. Howard, <laughs> did you see Miss Gail Tempest in physical fight with Kirk Robin? If it pleases the court, may I suggest that counsel be instructed to allow the witness to testify to what he saw? I say, Jasper, uh, what comes after 75? 76. That's the spirit. <laughs> Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. Well, it was like this, Mr. Court. Address the judge as your honor. Well, it was like this, my honor. Your honor, not my honor. Why? Don't you like him? 
<laughs> Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thanks, Courtney. You're a pal. Well, me and my pals, we're musicians. We were tearing up some hot swing music in the orchestra. Gail over there was swinging the fans. Her sweetie, Kirk Robin, was inhaling a bottle of hooch at a table. And a hoofer by the name of Buck Wing was getting ready to shake his tootsies. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a doiby. Drop the vernacular. No, no, not that. Talk so the jury can understand. Is everybody dumb? Say, Judgey, if you let me, my partner, and Gailey kind of act it out for you, we'll show you just what happened. If counsel doesn't object, that's an excellent idea. No objections. No objections. No objections. <laughs> okay, Gailey. Superstitious, eh? Oh, vice I kid. Gentlemen, you must control your killing instincts. Proceed with the testimony, please. Proceed. Pro oh. Oh. Submit the rest of the entertainment and continue. Now, Gailey's dance was over. I stuck my head in the office door and I saw Craig Robin and Buck Wing arguing over by the parrot cage. What were they arguing about? I don't know, but Buck Wing was sizzling like a hot hamburger. He grabs Craig by the neck like that, <laughs> see, and drags him over to the letter press. <laughs> see? <laughs> then he smacks him on the head like that. <laughs> then he pokes his coconut into the letter press, see, like that. Then he says, I'll squeeze the cider out of your Adam's apple. Then he gives him the works, like this. Then he keeps turning and twisting. That, ladies and gentlemen, is... Prove that my client is innocent. Innocent? Exactly, and I'll prove it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the action of this pistol is so hard, it would take the strength of a mule to pull the trigger. Try it. I'm no mule. No, your ears are too short. Mm. Mm. So I'm a mule. Pull the trigger. Never fear, it's not loaded. <laughs> How could Gail Tempest's frail little finger pull the rusty trigger of that instrument of destruction? See, there was nothing in it. <laughs> Broad Lane, 9972, after five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do with my boat in the air? Give me that thing. What happened? It's crazy. Even like they, they obviously have the use of effects for all these. Like they have the props. Yeah. But then they have like even when the um, the toupee when they, like they had that come in and pull it off. Like yeah. it's it's cool that even back then they, they were using. Like that. Yeah, they were, they could do it and they they were doing it. And uh, you can you can tell obviously too. There's a lot of that that goes into the script of all the characters in it. Like obviously it's the Three Stooges and they play a huge role. But there's a obvious there's a clear storyline for this like short film mm -hmm. shot, not just the three of them doing. Oh the yeah, thing, yeah. Right? No, it's like a whole like it's almost like a whole episode or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why that good at me? Have you from some Ah, there you are, boss. You was called to be a witness, wasn't you? Certainly. So was you. What are you buttoning in for? Uh, you're supposed to be a good one, ain't you? Well, ain't I? Now, what are you disturbing the court for? <laughs> Get gone. <laughs> Stop! Chewing that gum. Frightening. <laughs> Will you throw that gum away? Look, I got rid of it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold still. I'll get it. Tarzan, cut it out. <laughs> Order in this court. What does this parrot mean by find the letter? There's a whole pile of letters there. Must be here. Look, there's a note tied to the parrot's foot. Come on, Polly, 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 Polly. Come on, Polly, Polly, Polly. Come on, Polly, Polly, Polly. Come on. So he can't fly. Oh, don't do nothing until you hear from me. Come on. Give me a hand. Wait a minute. Hold it. What do you mean? <laughs> I object, Your Honor. These proceedings, this courtroom. Mm. What's the idea? Shut that off. Wait a minute, I'll have to tie a knot this. 
Ready? Hold it. Oh my god. Just complete chaos Literally. and disorder in the court. It's so funny though because there's things that I just never picked up on in the past from this that um like my dad and his brothers and my grandma will like say or like between the the group of them because I think my dad and my brothers watched this a lot when they were kids. So like when he goes suddenly or whatever like my uncle Mike says it all the time <laughs> and I just never really knew what it was from. Um, no, or like no. the grabbing the ear and like dragging like my grandma always threatens to do that to my dad there you go mother, so, so you got some family history yeah. from that one that's cool she would always call them the three stooges but i thought she just did because there's three of them right right so there you yeah, go funny. we took you back down memory lane of your family there so that's <laughs> that's funny all right guys well i hope you enjoyed our reaction to the three stooges leave us a comment let us know what your thoughts are and uh if there's any uh particular episodes from them that you did enjoy as well and uh, if you haven't subscribed Hit that button, take take a ride on this journey that we're on, and uh, go check out the Abbott and Costello one if you haven't done so already. All right, that's it from us today. We'll be back soon. Thanks for watching, guys.